Right then, I'm carrying on. I've done a bit of walking. I haven't videoed it all. But um, as you can see, I'm, that's the A39 there. But of course, I'm right on the very edge of Quantock Hills. I don't normally walk where I can ever hear or see a car. I'm normally up high. But on this particular day, I'm doing a circular walk. I could have gone back the same way along the beach and back that way, but no, I'm working out different routes. And I don't, I don't actually mind, I don't actually mind uh, the road at the moment on this particular walk. Yeah, so there's the very edge of the Quantock Hills now. And uh, it, there isn't really, it isn't really very far when I've got to come off. Uh, the fun begins when I've got to try and find the way across the fields. Um, you know, so we'll, we'll face that when we come to it. Now, if I remember, there used to be a nice stream here, but it could possibly have dried up with all this heat wave because this is a heat wave. Uh, now, a week or so ago, they were saying, two weeks ago, they were saying 1976. Now they're even going back to the 50s now since there was a spell like this and drought and all that. Like 56, I think they mentioned now. So, uh, no stream. Look, you see the stones? It normally runs down. And it trickled, I've seen it when it's been quite wide as well here. And trickling down from the hills. So, the trees are storing a lot of water though, aren't you trees? You look pretty good. But the rural ran the rural landscape isn't looking so good. So I've seen fields of uh, broad beans black because of the heat wave. There's a fossil up. Coleridge's feather. Of course this is new, you can tell this wouldn't have been here when I was here bef come before. And that would have been a trickling stream that I would have passed. And it was, and I've got it on other videos, inferior videos and photographs when I've done this. I thought I'd do a little bit more video before finding the map. But it's a nice gentle walk. A nice gentle walk. I parked at East Quantock Head Hamlet near the courthouse and the church for 50p for the whole day and you've got this beauty imagine that in London <sighs> arm and leg up there I went to London once in one of my vehicles years ago and it cost 15 quid then they take the car off you and they raise it up in the air and they stack them. Do you know what I mean? No one can nick your car. They stack them. That's all very interesting. Like I said, it's undulating because we're following the contours of the Quantock Hills on the very edge, so one minute we're going down, one minute we're going level, then we go up again. And like I said, the last time I come here, I remember the stream there. We are now entering Tickland, and uh, the Quantocks do have the tick on the, the tick that carries the uh, limes. I've just seen one with a big bag of eggs on its back then. Oh. And of course sometimes I'm waiting for someone to come along. They can smell you. 
I normally always get some sort of bites that's how I get home in the summer um, I understand why people wear all the gear but I'll tell you what I've worn all the gear before now and still got bitten they wriggle in they burrow and they still get you if die on your seams What I noticed with this particular t-shirt though, they don't like it because it is quite thick. In fact, it is very hot in the summer to wear it, but uh, it is um, a repellent. You see, now we've got to go touching ferns. <sighs> Maybe someone's not been along here for a while. See, there's this uh, creature there running away, but they get you, you know. God, I hope this I am haven't deviated from the path. This doesn't look like anyone's been here for ages. Oh. Look at that dead tree there. Oh. Like red sandstone in it. Oh. We've probably only got a small stretch of this to do. Um but I'm, sure, I'm, I'm videoing it all, all the evidence of human, because so you know the different types of terrain I'm going across on these walks. <sighs> you can't just branch off either. Look at that lot, there'll be snakes, all sorts in there. There's railway, there's, the, oh yeah, we're not far now, because when I looked up from East Quantock Head, I seen those Radio mast, those um, aerials, I mean. Pylons. Carrying radio signals. Or electric, even. Yeah, I've seen them, but there was more than one. This could be the first one on the hill. See, it looks at one time, there was a wall here, look. Perfectly formed wall. This has overgrown quite a bit. So it's just showing you that not p many people are actually using it. Because it is, it's bloody overgrown, isn't it? And that's what I'm saying. That's why people wear all the gear. Oh, God. It might even up a bit now. But, Chris, there could have been another path that I missed. See, look. There's the Quantock Greenway there, but that is just as... Chocker block there. See? Chocker block a jungle, isn't it? But we're walking parallel with the coast now. It's coming into view in a second. Down there, you see. So all we've got to do is look out for East Quantock Manor and the big field with um, straw bells in it. Round bells. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> yeah, I'm no panic yet. There's a name for the little path as well. And of course, there's Smith's Coombe that I keep meaning to do, but I'm not doing it today. There's obviously not time to do that today. I think I've done enough. Um. You've got to know when to stop. And I've been parked up all day. Well, it's not really that long, really. I mean, what was it? I was—I didn't really get going till 11 o'clock. It was quarter to 11. And then I was just looking in the church then. There's the coast. I walked all the way along all of that earlier. And I think, yes, it's not going to be far now. I think I can actually see right over there. I'm going to let's zoom in. Above that field there. On it. Might be getting tired. Of, yeah, see that? That field there. There's the gate, look. See the yellow sign? So we're not far now. There's the yellow sun. There's the field I w first walked across. And last week I went down by the K 
coast, but I've, I did all that this morning. Yeah, so that's, that's where we'll be going. So we'll be actually coming off when we're more or less opposite that area. When we get to opposite that area, we'll be coming off down Perry Lane or something like that, something Perry. Um, I mean, I would love, I would love really to walk Salford. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But I'm not going to do that. It is quite a hike up through the coombe, even before you get to the what I call the really pretty areas. Um, that would be overdoing it, so I'm not going to do that today. And I, was, I thought at one point, should I just stop off there as well? I thought, no, you've done enough. You're going to have to stop at a shop and get some food. You've got to drive back, you've got to park. Not only that, you might have two fields of cows to negotiate, yeah. But the weather's held up. Yeah, so I would have been walking all over there. All over there. Yep. I think it's Perry Lane or Perry Coombe or... Something, something Perry anyway, and I've got a feeling that's where I've got to come off. Because there was a track right opposite that sort of coombe. If not, you just come off, because I think it'll go in the same way. Like, somehow. So I don't have to go across the field of cows. Because that's the biggest risk. No one, no one's maintaining this bit. Look, they can't afford to pay the rangers at the moment. No one's maintaining this. So you're forced to have close encounters with the ferns and insects. This is quite wild. But of course, they will start dying back. They're already going a bit brown. Look. But of course, if we have a, say we suddenly had a spell of rain, they would perk up again and encroach this path even more. Right, I'm going to turn off for a little while now. There's the uh, pylon. Don't know how long that's been there. I can't remember if it's